So ask me that, that question again, Trent. Okay. <laughs> so the photo of the couple near the top represents separation, not just the separation of breakup or splitting up, but emotional separation, alienation, okay, et cetera. The question is, are we talking about separation? Are we talking about other things that are extensions of that? Isolation, disconnection, alienation? How have those things been compounded by the pandemic? Why now? Why this event now? Why this event now is that before the pandemic, uh, the issues that we're facing have always been there or they've been there for a long time of the, the, the disconnection, the, uh, the emptiness, the um, feeling like we weren't connected to one another, yet our lives were so busy before the pandemic that we could at least go and tell ourselves that we are still connected because we're still running around, we're able to go and get together with people in, in person and in the past two years within this pandemic, we have, are no longer able to go and ignore what is actually so that is actually there, that um, we don't have these connections, we don't have that intimacy, we don't have that closeness with one another, and we can't actually get together with, with one another anymore uh, in trying to keep each other safe and alive. <sighs> that it, this pandemic has amplified what is already there in orders of, of magnitude and intensity, uh, the loneliness, the disconnection. And we, to the point where we can no longer pretend that what we had before was actually good enough, that it was actually fulfilling and that we need something different. And for this event, for this summit, uh, it's about reconnecting to, to everything that we love and embrace and the all within ourselves. It's connecting to the love and, and connection that is around us uh, in, in the environment and with other people. And it's being able to bring that all together, inner and outer, to everything. <sighs> to be the, the one whole that we all are. Taking things further from, you know, like you say, two years ago when all of this started, we don't necessarily want to restore, we don't necessarily want to retreat back to what we consider as normal. Most people don't want to go back to what they had pre-pandemic. That's why there's been, you know, the, this, uh, you know, the, the great, um, what do they call it? The, the, the great quitting or, or the, the great resignation, I think is what it was mm -hmm. up. Uh, mm -hmm. of people going leaving their jobs and being like oh this this work isn't fulfilling it's not meaningful um this isn't what i truly care about this isn't within my passion this isn't what i'm here to go and do people don't want to go back to the lives that they had before they want need and crave something more something deeper something genuine and real and in the Art of Love Live Summit, this is what we are creating. Spaces for people to be able to have genuine connection with themselves. Genuine connection, love and affinity with others. And being connected to everything that is inside and outside of them so they can experience the wholeness of life the wholeness that is their birthright, the wholeness that they are, so they can truly live a, a, a life of their own design, a, a life that they have created, that they love and that they thrive in. Because what would that world look like if everyone felt that they could actually live the life that they wanted to, 
instead of what they felt that they need to or what they had to do. Yeah, life will still have its challenges. Life will, uh, there'll be things uh, that are hiccups. Nothing's going to be perfect. But, you know, this is part of the diver diversity within life. This is how we go and manage and, and co-create in a world that is more than us. And ultimately, it is still us that we're dealing with. Because on deeper spiritual levels, I am you disguised as not you. You are me disguised as not me. We're all one and the same that, that comes from the greater whole. And we're here in these physical forms in infinite variations and infinite uh, expressions of this divine self looking to experience itself in all facets, in all ways. And yeah, the, the, the paradox here is that it's not all light, it's not all fun, it's not all on the on the great higher vibration side. We came here to experience all of it, which means all the darkness, all the depth, all the pain, all the suffering, which is why we do this to ourselves, why we do this to one another. And by doing it to one another, we are actually doing it to ourselves because we want to experience that too, because we want to experience everything that these physical forms <laughs> These wonderful physical bodies can go and get to experience. And we came into a dualistic world, a place of left, right, up, down, things that feel good, things that feel bad. Yeah, we complicated by adding in a immorality system to it and said do this don't do that and those systems were abused uh, and taken advantage of to go and control other people because well, people haven't been trusted overall to be able to go and manage themselves we're creating adult space a place where I can trust that I'm going to do what I need to take care of me and my well being. And I can trust that you are going to take care of you and your well being. And where we have things that need help, or whether we have things that, you know, I need this, you need that, that we can go and ask for collaboration and trusting that there is enough and that we can go and figure it out together. And we, we don't have to go to those harsher places. Uh, we, we don't have to kill one another for what we pretend are limited finite resources. <sighs> and on some level or another, it is all expressions of love. Even when it's really seemingly fucked up, even when it's seemingly twisted or what people would call evil or vile, uh, reprehensible. As infinite beings, we are capable of everything and everything. And with that, if we're going to be whole and complete within ourselves, we get to fully own everything that we're capable of, even what we consider to be unconscionable. And being able to embrace that, yes, I'm capable of that. And being able to accept, yes, I have the possibility that I could do that. And that is a part of me. And I consciously choose to do something different. That we're going to treat one another and ourselves so much better than what we go and give ourselves at this point to love and know, hold and honor everything that we have inside of ourselves and all of our infinite complexities. And to be seen and held and honored and be like, yes, this is part of who I am. Yes, this is what I could do. 
And this is what I choose to do. This is what I want to go and do. And know that you can come from a place of choice and love and connection and compassion. That things can be better than what they've been. All right, Ika, thanks for reflecting on that. 